Hello there. Tonight's brush is my Ever Ready 100 from Anthony McKenzie Jr. It has a 24 millimeter high mountain white badger knot in it. Lovely, lovely knot. And the soap tonight is Vanillet Smoking Hot Pineapple. This is described as a, a, a pineapple smoke and vetiver type scent. Vangulay says, made with real pineapple that we smoked right off the grill with warm notes and vetiver. And if that wasn't enough, I added pineapple vodka for that extra kick. And it is uh, really cool scent the, the the pineapple and the smoke you have the sharpness of the pineapple but there, there's that acrid kind of uh, smell from the smoke and they sort of one they don't really blend together it's like one of them plays off the other each one of them plays off the other uh, the uh, the, the sharpness and the fruitiness and the acidity of the pineapple uh, takes the smoke and kind of sweetens that scent and uh, I want to say mild is milders it but makes it but that ain't a word but it makes it mild uh, it tempers it that's the word I'm looking for and uh they just the smoke keeps the the that really 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 acidic high acidic quality that i mean if you were to shove a pineapple in your face your eyes would almost water because they're so acidic and the smoke just it tempers that in the pineapple and it smells lovely and there's a lovely kind of vetiver under uh undercarriage there and it just it smells really good I like it a lot uh, I like uh, lemon I like citrus stuff anyway uh, but pineapple can begin to taste or not taste but smell I'm not sure what the right word is but pineapple can be like overpowering it just can take over that's and in this, there's a balance because you have two uh, very opposite, but also very strong scents in the smoke and the pineapple. And when they meet, they just uh, cut right down the middle so that the uh, scent, it's lovely for, for, a, uh, for a citrusy type of scent. It's really good. I like it. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and move down and start the shave. Lovely. Uh, 
the scent coming out of the bowl. Just absolutely lovely. It, uh, it actually increases in strength, probably almost, in, to my nose, about twice as strong when you start to lather it. I don't know what it'll do on the face. But that's lovely. Absolutely. It needs more water, though. Beautiful. Looks more like it. Lovely. All right, dry my hands off. Let's move on up and start to shave. Excuse me. And tonight I'm going to be using, once again, I'm sure you've probably seen this razor a couple of times already, but my Gold Dollar 208. And, uh, the reason you are seeing this, let me adjust this just a hair more. The reason that you are seeing this razor fairly often is because I'm taking this razor and I'm using it to play around with edges. Uh, I can't remember how many edges it's been through. Uh, I think a synthetic edge, flapping film, uh, 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 a couple of Arkansas edges, one that came from uh, going synthetic up to about eight. K okay, or maybe even off of uh, one micron lapping film. I'm not sure. Uh, then a straight Arkansas edge from uh, soft to hard arc, and now uh, this is a conical edge. And all I'm doing is I'm just playing around with edges the thing uh, it's had an escher edge uh, I have a different several different ways that I can finish razors and it's important to me that I continually uh, craft edges off of all of those stones and all of those options so that lovely so that I stay current. With those stones. So I can put. A nice shaving edge. Off a razor from. On a razor off of any of them. But it's also. Fun. I started honing as a way to maintain my straight edges, razor's edge because I couldn't afford to, to send them out. And it's gone from that to really enjoying the process itself and uh, 
learning to get the best out of it. Very enjoyable. That's a really, really nice first pass. That's a lovely soap. It, uh, remember that I said that it was stronger in the bowl well it's good strength on the face as well the uh, pineapple to me pineapple has kind of a an earthiness to it, it it's fresh it has that fresh citrusy scent but it, there's also a bit of, of in my nose anyway, kind of an earthiness to pineapple. And I think the the smoke and both that and the vetiver really work well. with that character a pineapple that characteristic Beautiful. And trembling. bit. No biggie. Once I get it on the skin, once I get the edge on the skin, the blade sits still. That light touch of the edge against the skin is just enough to to steady my hand. That's a good thing. Excuse me a minute. Because it really, really stink. No end. I needed to get. If I had to stop straight shaving. Cold water rinse. That's a wonderful. Smooth, close shave, cuticle edge. And uh, since there's a vetiver component, and I really don't have anything pineapple y or anything really smoky, I'm going to try Ulane's vetiver uh, as an aftershave to this. lovely whether it's a part of that or not that's just a fantastic aftershave all by itself all right 
Thank you for joining me. That's been Vanulay smoking hot pineapple, and it's smoking good. I'll talk to you later. God bless you.